So I'm very happy to participate uh, at this conference in honor of my good friend, Luc Ibizi. But in fact, I can tell that uh, Luc is, uh, is uh, one of my teachers. Probably he uh, is not aware of that. I learned a lot of mathematics from his work. And in particular, I just realized that most of things outside non archimedean geometry I use uh, and um, which are basis of this work. Uh, I learned from uh, uh, Luke's papers uh, and I due to him this uh, 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 vention cycles, logarithmic geometry, uh, limit coach structures, construction of Kashuk uh, uh, complexes in toposes. So all this I learned from his work. And so, in fact, I hope very much uh, that these ugly masks are thrown away and we can meet again and again at Weizmann Institute in Israel and in Paris, of course. Okay, so now uh, I start. And uh, uh, most of talks at this conference are of a periodic field. And so it is about something, uh, it's not about periodic field, about, uh, it's about, uh, about a field which is, uh, was discovered even earlier than the periodic field. And so let me introduce it. Uh, and so we work with a field we fixed, which is complete with respect to a non archimedean valuation, discrete valuation. And uh, first of all, I recall the standard notations. Uh, 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 K naught is a link of integers. K uh, with two nodes uh, is a maximum ideal, it's a principal ideal. And uh, K with tile over it is a residue field. These are standard notation. And so, in fact, our field, uh, the field we consider is non-canonically isomorphic to uh, the field of uh, uh, formal run power series. And so, but I do not want to fix uh, this isomorphism. And so, abstractly, uh, I assume that this field contains, uh, the ring of integers contains the field of complex numbers, and this field of complex numbers maps onto the residue field. And so uh, what is an example of such a field, which is of course isomorphic to it? It's uh, the completion of a field denoted in such a way calligraphic, where K is the fraction field of the uh, ring of convergent power series at zero. And so we also uh, fix valuation at this field such that uh, the valuation, the value at uh, a generator of the maximal ideal of, of valuations of both generators are equal. And so, but um, uh, the second field, the graphic field, and so in it, we fix a coordinate function z, which is noted by z, on the complex plane. And so the uh, this uh, k hat is canonically isomorphic to the uh, k hat. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, k hat uh, not isomorphic to the ring of convert, uh, formal power series. Okay, and but in fact, uh, the set of isomorphism between k hat and k, our field k, uh, corresponds to generators of the maximum ideals, and so. Uh, many uh, things um, depend on the choice of a uh, generator of the maximal ideal. And so, uh, okay, uh, what I'll tell about it's uh, how one can uh, place it in some uh, good picture. <laughs> okay, and so uh, I start from the very end. I'll formulate uh, the main result. And of course, after that, I start uh, explaining what uh, these objects because it's not clear. And so one can construct for every proper K analytic space A, it's a non archimedean analytic space, and every N a distinguished mixed coach structure over some funny K, and so which is a log formal C analytic space. I'll give a definition. And so it's uh, just I formulate, give this formulation because it appeals to something familiar. And so it consists of something uh, which uh, is more or less uh, integral et al. cohomology of the space. 
then uh, rational et al cohomology uh, of this space provided with uh, uh, filtration, uh, weight monodromy filtration. And then uh, the RAM cohomology of this space provided with the Hodge filtration and something alpha. But uh, only uh, at the moment, I will uh, say uh, at least only one property that it's functorial in X. It lives in a non Archimedean mode. And now I, uh, I'll give uh, all necessary definitions. Uh, and so I start uh, already, uh, I do not use prepared nodes. I uh, do not like. Uh, to follow uh, prepared presentations because uh, my brain is not a uh, scanning device. And so even I stop, I've switched off even when I myself use prepared notes. <laughs> okay. And so, uh, first of all, I explain what is a mixed coach structure of a K node. It's something I recall the definition of a mixed coach structure, but in a more general setting. And so, definition. Oh, I'm sorry. And so uh, let us fix a generator of the maximal ideal. And then one can uh, associate with it a uh, conjugation on the, so which is called VARPI conjugation on K node. What is it? And so if we fix, because we fixed, uh, our generator, uh, then k, uh, k naught is canonically, uh, it's just uh, isomorphic to the ring of formal power series of a C in one pi. And so what is the uh, conjugation? It's, uh, it acts as a complex, uh, conjugation on C on constants. So A goes to A bar and it uh, acts trivially to on bar pi. And so it's a bar pi conjugation. Second, if uh, V is a finitely generated R vector space, then uh, this VARPI conjugation uh, gives rise to a VARPI conjugation on the uh, tensor product of V over R with K naught. It's an, an evident way. Now, uh, suppose we are given a finite decreasing filtration. F on this tensor product, then one can uh, define uh, VARPI conjugate of F. What is this? It's a filtration denoted in such a way such that it's uh, FQ is equal to FQ bar with respect to VARPI conjugation, which is defined on the space. So we say that uh, F is N opposed to F, to its, to its VARPI conjugate, If for any pair of integers such that p plus q equals to n plus one, uh, the following is true that the canonical homomorphism from this uh, direct sum to v k naught is an isomorphism. It's a usual definition. Now, the next definition <laughs> a varpi mixed watch structure. Watch structure 
over K naught is a triple. which are now I explain. And so where uh, HC is a finitely generated Hyperion group. And so uh, var, uh, W is a filtration, a finite increasing filtration. filtration on HQ, which is a tensor product with this Q. It's filtration by Q vector spaces. Uh, now F is a finite decreasing, finite decreasing filtration. On, now here, H K naught, which is a tensor product, is K naught, this finite, uh, finitely generated abelian group. But uh, such by uh, by K naught modules, submodules, such that for any n, uh, the filtration. on the nth graduated quotient of H K naught induced by F is an opposed to its bar pi conjugate. It is a definition. And so it's a usual definition, uh, but uh, instead of C, uh, I consider K naught. Now, uh, first of all, uh, one can show easily that in uh, this situation, all F pi uh, have direct, have direct complement, complements. They have direct, or it is equivalent that quotient H K naught have no torsion. Now, uh, it follows that if we, we can associate with such an object, uh, following object H titled, which is H Z bar pi and F bar pi, which is uh, F uh, tiled, where F tiled is a uh, induced filtration, filtration on HC. And so if you consider HC as a quotient by the maximal ideal, by some model generated by maximal ideal, we get the usual classical, uh, Hodge, classical mi mixed Hodge structure. Okay, but also uh, let me uh, notice if uh, on the opposite direction, if H is a uh, classical mixed coach structure, one can associate to it uh, var pi clause structure, but essentially uh, which doesn't depend on var pi. Namely, uh, we, uh, if uh, this means a classical mixed coach structure, this means that F comes from HC. And so it just, F is a tensor product of some filtration on HC with K naught. And so in that case, varpi conjugation uh, doesn't uh, change, it acts as a usual. So uh, uh, varpi conjugate uh, is not, uh, doesn't depend on varpi. So it, we get a constant mixed coach structure. Okay, now, uh, the main object, it's a log formal uh, C analytic space. C analytic space, which is denoted in such a way. 
So it is associated with our field K. In fact, it's a very simple object, uh, which is a formal punch defined line, uh, but which depends on K. And so we just, we do not fix such an isomorphism. So first of all, general construction. If X is a formal scheme of finite type, over k naught, then one can associate with it the following log C analytic space. Here is a definition. And so for R integer R, we define, uh, we consider the following scheme as a topological space is the formal scheme itself, but uh, chief Structural shift is uh, quotient uh, of the structural shift of the formal scheme by R's power of maximal ideal. And so it is a scheme of finite type over C. And so we can associate with it its analytification. And uh, our object, uh, so uh, this log C analytic space, it just uh, inductive limit of this complex analytic spaces. And so it's a formal, log formal analytic space. So now, in fact, I consider two examples, which uh, the first example is very simple. So Google, yes. The log structure comes from, from the base? Uh, just a moment. So far, I, I, so far I will uh, in my examples, I will introduce log structure. It's not in general constructions, there is no log structure. Uh, it's just a uh, log, uh, uh, formal ski, uh, log, or oh, log, I'm sorry, I should uh, hear, yes, your, your question is legitimate. Uh, and so it's like a formal, I, formal C analytic space, not log, not log. Now we consider a first example. If it is a formal spectrum of uh, K naught, then we get the point I denote in such a way. So it's a very simple, as a topological space, it's one point. And now it is a log uh, space, log structure. It's an evident one. It is just uh, the uh, Monoid, corresponding monoid is a thing, and so it is embedded to K naught. It's a formal, formal C analytic, log formal C analytic space. Now, if, if our, uh, in fact, we start with this uh, calligraphic K, then we get similar log point denoted in this, this way, and it is also. Uh, log um, formal C analytic space. But what is the difference? Uh, there is a fixed element Z in this uh, monoid, in this monoid. And by the way, the set of isomorphisms from one point is another one. It's uh, Canonically, uh, by, uh, there is a canonical bijection between the set of isomorphism with a set of generators of the maximal ideals. So just if we have such a uh, isomorphism, we consider, uh, we take the image of Z and we get a generator of the maximal ideal of K. Okay, now I, uh, the main example, uh, another, it's a very simple example. So um, it will be, I uh, start uh, our formal scheme. I start with is a uh, punch, uh, is a completion of punch and defined line, uh, isomorphic, something isomorphic to it first. So consider the module of all K naught homomorphism from the maximal ideal to K naught. And so it's a free module of rank one of the K naught. And so if varpi a generator 
of K0 of uh, the maximal ideal, one can associate an element here. In L, this element as a homomorphism, it takes var pi to one. And so it is a generator of such, each such element is a generator of our mood. Okay. Now notice if we have another generator, also generator, then var pi is A times var pi, where A is an invertible element of the ring of integers. And in this case, L var pi equal to A times L var pi uh, prime. Now consider the algebra, the following algebra, symmetric algebra of uh, L, of this module L, and consider the localization. Uh, it. And so this localization uh, uh, doesn't depend on bar pi because of the previous equality. And so we, after that, consider formal completion, completion of this symmetric. And so this algebra is uh, sub, uh, is isomorphic to the algebra of uh, 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 algebraic functions on uh, uh, function defined by. So consider uh, its completion. And so if we now take formal scheme X, we apply the previous construction uh, to this uh, completion and we get a space. And so it's a, a formal C analytic space. It's for this formal scheme. Now, uh, so it's a formal scheme, uh, C analytic space. And so uh, there is, uh, in fact, it's the inductive limit of uh, such, uh, C analytic spaces. And so, in fact, only uh, the first space is reduced and uh, all other are nil immersions. But the first space, the set of points, is uh, it's easy to see, it's canonically, uh, uh, there is a canonical bijection with the, the set of non-zero elements of the one-dimensional uh, C vector space, which is uh, quotient by the of maximal idea by the square minus zero. And so uh, just I introduce uh, a notation, there is a, a canonical map. And so we will uh, uh, denote uh, the image of our pi generator by small head of a pi pi. Now, I want to uh, provide this space with a log structure. And so since uh, uh, our field, uh, the ring of integers embedded to, uh, to the ring of uh, functions on this space, then there is a morphism from, uh, from our space to uh, the point. And we provide, provide this space with the induced log structure. This means that uh, it just, um, any generator of uh, our maximal ideal defines a chart of this log structure. But what is, uh, we notice immediately which is important. And so if you consider uh, element var pi times L var pi, then this element in the uh, monoid of this space doesn't depend, depend on var pi. And so this follows from, uh, now I show from this relation. And so we denote this element by Z. 
So this element doesn't depend on uh, var pi. And so since we uh, have a fixed element, canonical element in this monoid, this defines uh, a morphism of log spaces from here to here, to this log space. And so what do we have? And also it is a strict morphism. It's easy to see strict because uh, bar pi and z are related, are different by invertible element, invertible function. So what do we have? We have uh, our space, two uh, projection, canonical projection here and here. Let me done okay. Now, uh, no facts, I, I formulate several properties, uh, very easy properties. properties. First of all, the set of sections of pi k, pi k sections of these morphisms is uh, canonically, uh, there is a canonical bijection with the set of isomorphic. And so if you have a section, we, if you have a section, then we can consider the composition. We have an isomorphism from here to here. And so we get a, uh, an isomorphism from one point to this point. And it is a set of generators of, of the maximal idea. Okay, now, uh, so first of all, let, me, let us consider uh, the one uh, differential one form on this point. And so it is, uh, of course, it's free K naught model of rank one, which generated by D logarithm of R pi, but for any R pi. And uh, one can easily see that uh, if you consider tensor product is K naught, with the ring of, uh, with the structural shift of this log form of analytic space, and we get uh, the shift of a differential, uh, relative differential form, one forms uh, of K uh, of this space, of this space over this space. Okay, it's very easy to see. Three. Uh, if E is a vector bundle, this connection uh, on our space. So connection of this type, which is uses the previous Then uh, the set of uh, the subshift of uh, horizontal sections is a local system of uh, finite free K naught model. Finite free K naught modules of rank equal to rank of E. K. Now, uh, how can we construct such uh, a vector bundle if E is a D module over K naught? And so, the, what is D module? A finite free, free K naught model provided with a connection then we can uh, 
if we consider define such a vector bundle on our space, uh, which is uh, all standard product, we get a vector bundle with connection, plus connection of the previous type. S in C. Okay. Now, uh, if you have such a D model, then one can uh, associate with it a residue of connection. Uh, I, let me re uh, uh, recall the definition. And so, if you have such a D model, then our connection gives rise to a connection. Uh, the space on the space uh, which is E factorized by the maximal ideal by the submodule generated by the maximal ideal. And so, uh, and it, it is a connection, let me write here. Uh, there is a canonical uh, generator. It also can be considered the quotient of. Uh, uh, C can be considered as a lock point, and it has a genera canonical generator of the chief of uh, uh, one form. And uh, there is a, an associated uh, connection on this quotient. And uh, so this uh, connection would uh, sense any element to such an element where delta is a just endomorphism. Delta is endomorphism of this space. And it is called a residue of the connection nabla. By the way, also, uh, it's a residue and we, uh, it's an endomorphism of C vector space. It has additive Jordan decomposition, additive. Okay. Now, I uh, definition. Again, unfortunately, there are many definitions. Uh, e is called distinguished, D module distinguished if the eigenvalues, eigenvalues. of delta of the residue lie in the following set. They are rational number between zero and one. And one can show that in this case, there is a spectral decomposition. E is a direct uh, sum over all these uh, eigenvalues of D submodules. So, This model. And here, our residue, just a semi simple part of the residue, is just multiplication by lambda. Okay. And uh, just uh, I'll use the following definition a uh, K naught submodule of E. And so, submodule P e in E is called D marked. If uh, it has it has a direct complement and uh, and uh, p equals to direct sum of the intersections. Okay. Now, what is a distinguished? the next definition. Uh, a distinguished Durham structure Durham structure structure on this space is a triple is a triple H, Z, E, 
alpha, where H is a local system of uh, finitely generated abelian group. on this space. In fact, it is, it is essentially only on the first level. So it's a topological space, it's this space. Now, E is a distinguished D module of a K node and alpha is an isomorphism of uh, vector battles with connection. Okay. No, it follows easily from the definition that this local system is quasi omnipotent. And in fact, if you have, uh, moreover, if you have a, a generator, if our pi generator of the maximum ideal, then uh, one can associate with to it a homomorphism from uh, uh, the stock of our structural shift at the corresponding point of our space to K node. And so it is defined just that element goes to one. And so if you have alpha, then we can construct alpha or pi uh, from the stock of our local system, this K node, and isomorphism to E, if you can see, apply this homomorphism to the previous to alpha. And also we can consider uh, like reduction. It's a homomorphism from this stock tensor product with C to the quotient of E. And so uh, the operator, uh, one can uh, show that uh, the action of the, um, over generator of the fundamental group of this space uh, uh, and um, the action of residue uh, of connection on E tile are related just generator of fundamental group uh, is exponent minus bar pi i delta. And so, and uh, the operator if you consider the operator, mm, this operator on the right-hand side, it corresponds, one can show that uh, uh, one can construct an operator N from the local system H, I'm sorry, HQ ratio to HQ minus one. homomorphism of local system. Now, uh, the next uh, several definition and after that, uh, distinguished mixed coach structure. Mixed coach structure over this space. Definition. A distinguished so mixed coach structure over this space, log formal C analytic space, is a tuple, which is uh, looks very, very familiar with theorem I formulated. Where, well, where, first of all, HZ 
is a local, ah, no, not on the HD, I'm sorry. Uh, the triple uh, HZ, if you only consider HZ, E and alpha is a distinguished. The RAM structure, which I defined previously. Now the next, uh, what is W? A finite, finite uh, increase in filtration. Filtration on HQ by Q uh, by local subsystems of K Q vector spaces, but with the property that n of vk uh, is, uh, is contained in wk minus 2. But I, I think that this appeals to something familiar. Yes. Now, f infinite decreasing filtration by of e by D marked, you remember that D marked uh, K node, K node submodules with the following property, which is also looks very familiar. Nabla of FK is containing this tensor product. So Griffith's transversality, such that now the property, such that for any varpi, which is a generator of the maximum ideal, the following trip, triple, now I will explain. So first of all, we consider the stock, our local system at the corresponding point of our, our space the induced uh, uh, filtration, so the gate monotomy filtration on the space. And now filtration, I, I'll explain what it is, which is dependent on the pi. This strip is a, is, is a pi mixed uh, coach structure. Over K naught. So I, I gave it was my first definition what it is. Now I'll explain what it is. And so these are stocks. The first two um, entries are stocks at this point. And what is F uh, var pi? And so we have a homomorphism. And so since it uh, from, uh, I already used it. And so we have such an um, uh, isomorphism if we fix var pi, then uh, this uh, filtration is that just pre image of F, pre image of this filtration on the left hand side. Okay, and so everything is defined. Now I can uh, uh, turn back to K analytic geometry. So it's like Hodge theory vector, K analytic geometry. Okay, I have. Uh, the, okay. Yes. To recall the connection with the classical theory like thin ring and so on. So if you have a, something over a puncture disk, projective. Or, or let's say or semi stable reduction, so you can consider the variation of whole structure on the puncture. This is a limiting one. So what you define is the analog of what of the of the the variation of the or both. Yes, it's like uh, for uh, it's something like uh, formal completion of this variation of mixed Hodge structure. Yes, yes. I, in fact, okay. I formulate the theory. Uh, I did not formulate properties, and so I'll spell out that. Yes, 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 okay. it's, uh, there is a direct relation. But uh, uh, 
non-Archimedean point of view brings something new. And so you know that all this exists already, uh, lives in the non-Archimedean world. And uh, uh, this uh, more general notion comes from there. But even in the classical situation, we, uh, we get something, in a sense, uh, a new view to what we know in the classical situation. Okay. Okay. The, and so first, the Ram cohomology. In the theorem, uh, we had the Ram cohomology. And so first of all, I recall that if X, ah, and so X is, a, first of all, let me, uh, so let X be a compact uh, K analytic space, strictly K analytic space. I just, I do not want to give also definition of bounded K analytic space, which I mentioned uh, in uh, the abstract of this talk because it's already too much. And so I restrict with compact K analytic spaces. Then, uh, first of all, if X is re so called rig smooth, and so it's the notion uh, usually in rigid geometry one tells that they are smooth. And so in this case, one can define the RAM complex. And so the RAM complex is a reasonable object uh, to consider, and the RAM cohomology for such a space are defined over K are defined as the uh, hypercomology of the complex of uh, uh, the RAM complex of X over K, differential form of X over K. And so facts, first of all, I can show facts. First of all, this space has finite dimension of a key, it's not evident at all. It is provided with a Gauss mining connection uh, data. And so it is a D module in the previous, uh, not yet, it's over K. Okay, uh, third property. One can define a lattice. And so it's a finitely uh, dimensional vector space, but uh, one can define a lattice in this vector space, which is denoted in such a way, which is functorial. Functorial in X, in X, and such that the image uh, of this connection of this lattice lies in the, oh, I'm sorry, here in the tensor product, I'm sorry, here, I, I should write. Omega one K over K. I'm sorry, uh, Gauss mining connection should be written in such a way here. But um, and so really it is a uh, D module in the previous sense. I define uh, the next property. One can extend this construction in a smart way. The construction which takes any compact, strictly K analytic space uh, to pair, one that defines such a pair. And can, together this connection to arbitrary compact, compact K analytic space. And moreover, such that all these are distinguished demodules. De 
okay, these are uh, uh, the RAM cohomology. Now I want to say something about integral cohomology. So in the formulation of the theorem, they were denoted by calligraphic H fact. And so again, fact. Uh, one can construct for any compact strictly k analytic space, space X, if for any non negative integer n, a local system of finitely generated linear group. on this space such that, first of all, it is functorial in X. Second, it is quasi important. So for any prime L, There is a canonical isomorphism. If you tether this local system with ZL, we get uh, something we know. Uh, excuse me, uh, what is X bar again? Uh, ah, it's a notation. Uh, X bar is a notation. All this is a notation. Uh, but uh, a notation for what? H for uh, for something um, uh, related to X, something okay. related to X. What now? Yes, X bar is something like X our space uh, X, and X bar stands for. X lifted to algebraic closure, but here now uh, uh, I, I hope that you understand. So uh, for any prime L, um, uh, so all this all this is a notation, and so a local system it's a notation. Now uh, if we uh, consider tensor product of this local system is Z L, we get something uh, which now I'll explain what do I mean by by the right hand side because we know what are it our homology of uh, non archimedean analytic spaces, eladic homology, not integral, but eladic. Now, what it is, uh, here I should, um, and so to define the right hand side, uh, uh, there is a local system. System on this space, on the space, on uh, the topological space. And so it takes a point. Uh, to uh, some field which is denoted by which is a, an algebraic closure closure of that uh, I'm sorry uh, I, I'm sorry I by calligraphic it's k it's algebraic closure of k so there is a local system on this space of algebraic closures of k. Uh, which are not complete and uh, a tau cohomology. And so local system on the right hand side, now I define. And now you'll see what is X bar. So if you consider lift of X over K to this, to the complete, again, to the completion of this algebraic closure, the L. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, so the, uh, it's uh, the H, the stock of our local system on the right hand side at the point bar pi hat is just a tau cohomology of the lift of X to algebraic closure, which is related to K uh, to bar pi. Uh, a tau cohomology. Okay, I hope that 
uh, it's now clear. And now uh, the last thing he, uh, before formulating the RAM theorem. The first step, the RAM theorem. For any n, the tuple. So I cannot explain this. So it's x over k naught, which consists of uh, this local system, x bar z. And so x bar, I hope you understand what is it. It's, oh, it's a notation, uh, the RAM cohomology group of x over k naught. And there is a tuple, one can, uh, the RAM theorem, one can define, uh, and so an isomorphism. This means that one can define an isomorphism alpha of the previous type V, and so let me write. And so it is, is a distinguished RAM structure. The RAM structure. And so, in fact, in this triple, uh, so this means that there is an isomorphism of uh, vector bundles with connection. There is an isom alpha such that it is a distinguished drum structure. By the way, if we are, have a pi, then this homomorphism induces an isomorphism of the stock of this local system. At this point, tensor Z K naught with the RAM homology. Okay. No, now I can formulate, we have uh, one more minute, probably I'll need uh, a couple more, uh, Minutes, so theorem. So one can associate, can construct for any proper. Now, here, and so all previous uh, results are to uh, hold for compact K analytic spaces, but here we really need proper K analytic space, or in more general analytic space, X and any N. Um, distinguished link, a distinguished mixed hot structure over K. So, So again, uh, now uh, such that I list several properties. So first of all, I already listed its functorial in X. Now, second property, I can, if X is smooth, then F is induced, the Hodge filtration on the Durham homology group is induced by, by the stupid filtration on the on the Durham uh, complex. And so it's a usual Durham complex, but you remember that the Durham homology group of a K naught are embedded lattices in the Durham homology groups of a K. And so uh, it is just a pre image of the uh, filtration induced by the stupid filtration on this complex and the spectral sequence. So 
So Hodge Dirac spectral sequence degenerates. Degenerates at, at E1. Now, uh, the third property comparison is what we know in the classical situation by the work of Steinbrink. And so, if, if X is the following object, so let me explain you. And so, where X is a proper scheme scheme of a calligraphic node, which is the ring of convergent power series at zero or in the complex plane at zero. And uh, so proper scheme uh, such that uh, uh, such that it's closed fiber is a strict normal crop crossing device uh, and it used, then, then in fact, uh, uh, Steen Brink uh, constructed a limit coach structure. So what is the relation to the previous object? And so let me, and so you remember when we have a uh, uh, distinct mixed coach structure over this, uh, funny space, we can consider uh, uh, it's like reduction only when we uh, factorize by the maximal ideal. And so it's uh, something already looks like uh, uh, only some local system on the, over the topological space, not on the formal scheme on the topological space, but at least uh, I'm sorry, and um, it's not, I should use calligraphic K. And so if I use, since I use calligraphic K, this means that there is a fixed generator of the maximal ideal or, or a fixed point uh, of this space. And so let us consider, uh, uh, not Z, I'm sorry, stock of this local system and, uh, at this point, fixed point. And so it is the limit, limit mixed watch structure of Steinbrink. Steinbrink. In fact, uh, he considered also uh, different points at this space, like how can this structure uh, transforms when we consider another generator of the maximal ideal. So everything depends on the uh, generator module of the square of the maximal ideal. And so everything is consistent. Okay, I think that uh, it's enough. Uh, I, I, fi I finished. <laughs> I want to ask uh, just to clarify. Yeah, so, questions. Okay, so uh, when you uh, write uh, the last theorem, so a proper k analytic space in your sense, is it uh, a, a, is it again uh, a, a strict in in your sense or not necessarily? No, but uh, it is strict by definition, in fact, because uh, it's uh, in my theory like uh, it. It's a, a good analytic space. And so every point has an affinoid neighborhood and uh, the valuation is non-trivial and so so. And um, it's, uh, it, this space has no boundary. And so it follows- Okay, I remember, okay, okay, okay. So you just explained the point. And now it, I want, maybe I want to ask again about the, the, the mixed thought structure thing. So the, the weight filtration here, when X let us say is smooth, uh, do you get that uh, filtration W is trivial or no? Is it like the limiting, is it the limiting weight filtration or is the weight filtration in the... Yes, 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 yes. It's a limit weight filtration. And so everything uh, you see that in the last line, 
uh, here. Uh, and so what I am writing, it's uh, the whole tuple. It's uh, the whole tuple. It's in fact tuple. It's a limit mixed coach structure of Steinbrink with weight filtration, weight monodromic filtration, everything, of course. No, no, but what I'm asking is, the, sorry, the classical theory, let us say you have something over the puncture disk, an analytic, so you have, a, 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 let us say, in the smooth, proper smooth case on the puncture disk, so you have a usual pure variation of whole structure on the puncture disk, you can extend it, and uh, we, you have then, a, a, and then you can, uh, you have also a limiting one on the kind of the special fiber of the ring extension, so, in your context, do you have an analog of the the one, not the limiting one, but the one, the, the variation of pure whole structure? On ah, the I, I have, no, no, I have no pure structures uh, outside uh, zero. And so at zero, what uh, what I constructed, it's only leaves over zero. It's, uh, you see, I, I have no uh, something which lives outside. If you are asking this question, if I understand you. Correct. So you don't have an analog of the variation of, of whole structure on the puncture disk whose limit is the one that you yeah, have yes, to yes. have such a limit. That's true, that's true. I have no analog of this. That's true. I only have yeah. limit without oh, <laughs> limit of <okay>. what. <laughs> yes, 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 that's true. And so uh, that's true. Okay. Uh, I just uh, can uh, uh, tell you that uh, something uh, what I can do. And so there is, in fact, uh, this theory is extended to a more general analytic spaces I called bounded. Uh, and uh, uh, by the way, also uh, probably in formulation, I should say that uh, the uh, classical theory of the line is only uh, covered um, for proper schemes, not, uh, it doesn't cover uh, non-proper schemes. And so if our scheme X comes from proper scheme over C, then we get a constant mixed construction. So uh, like a very constant, uh, but uh, I cannot do uh, non-proper scheme. You cannot. May I ask a question? Can I ask the last remark about non-proper scheme? Ah, the last, and so uh, there is uh, also, uh, not necessarily proper scheme, yes. but uh, which uh, uh, I can probably, uh, be, and so if you consider a formal scheme of finite type uh, over K naught and uh, uh, closed sub scheme of the closed fiber, which is proper as a scheme. And so uh, the whole formal scheme is not proper, but uh, okay. closed sub scheme, and we consider formal completion in each fiber. These are uh, bounded analytics, uh, which, uh, to which uh, the whole theory is extended. You should, uh, you should uh, stop him. Okay, so this is like the tube of. Uh, okay. We have all the people who want to ask okay. questions. Okay. So, okay. Okay. You can tell Bruno. Yeah, there is the. Can you can you switch on your microphone and ask your question? Bruno? Yes. Sir. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Can you hear me? Good morning. I'm Bruno Lotto. Hi, Vladimir. So my question is the following: Do you have a, a an invariant cycle, uh, an idea on invariant cycle theorem? So in the sense, what is the kernel of the monogram? Ah. Uh, I, 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 should be, I should be. Okay, no, no, I, I, I have in mind to, to think about it, but I didn't yet do. I still have some problems in like base uh, foundations, I would say. Uh, but I didn't come to that. I, I believe that invariant uh, cycle theorem also should come here. But, so, but uh, what I should be, so in general, what should be the, uh, let's say, the, the, the cohomology of the invariant? So uh, what should be? In general, you have the, the sequence, and after you have the cohomology of the special fiber in the classical Stibling setting. Yes, I think uh, something exists. It's also, it is extended not only, uh, you see that here I use cohomology um, uh, x bar, x mm -hmm. bar, but in fact, one can withdraw bar, one can consider just uh, integral cohomology of x itself. 
Yeah. And, uh, uh, and also there is a Hodge structure, but which is constant. It's mm -hmm. also uh, parallel to classical situation. Uh, and uh, something uh, it is described as uh, in terms of this uh, okay. variant cycles. Okay, thank you. But thank you. I, I did not do it. I just, uh, <laughs> uh, I have in mind, but uh, I cannot claim that I can prove something yet. Okay, it's, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, I, I think that uh, Professor ABC oh. has a question too. Yes, uh, so at the beginning, uh, you assume uh, that X is a proper over K, but not necessarily smooth. Not and necessarily. Then, not necessarily smooth. So then you, uh, when you write H on the ramp of X over K naught, do you mean that you replace X by some uh, hypercovering, proper hypercovering with uh, Precisely, smooth, absolutely. Uh, smooth, uh, smooth, uh, yes. proper smooth, uh, uh, smooth, and then you take uh, the, the delimiting. Yes, 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 uh, that's right, that's right. So I, then, uh, in order to construct this uh, degeneration somehow, do you use some kind of uh, of the young uh, uh, alteration thing or the, the similar things? Or? No, no, no. I use uh, it is based on uh, Tomkin's result because he. Oh, Tomkin, uh, Tomkin, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. For formal schemes, it's a very essential. In fact, I started all business after Tomkin uh, proved his results, uh, and uh, uh, which I applied also to, uh, to uh, formal schemes. And so, yes, everything is constructed. And so uh, the underlying uh, things uh, is uh, vanishing cycles here. And uh, so even, uh, even in the proper smooth case, you need that thinking thing, of course. Uh, yes, 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 that's true. That's true. Because uh, even for a smooth case, I need it. Yes, yes, yes. yes, because uh, 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 reduction is only so-called distinguished, which, but I need semi-stable, uh, and so yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it, it is so, a uh, uh, Also, uh, uh, second question, uh, your, your, your filtration, your limiting filtration, W, so do you, do you expect some uh, monodromy filtration here, I mean, in some cases, or? No, 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 not yet, not yet. I understand but, you. Uh, not yet, but does, does it mean that uh, you you expect something to be true? Uh, uh, yes, yes, I, I can tell you more. Uh, many things. I expect many things should be true, and monodromy, uh, and also even one can formulate uh, uh, Hodge conjecture here. Uh, <laughs> because uh, this uh, Hodge structure is not pure, but nevertheless one can formulate and so at least uh, <laughs> uh, I hope that which I hope it's also true but I okay uh, thank you so uh, let's send the speaker again.